Alright, today what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to fix this guy. It's a Nikon D200. It's got a dead battery syndrome, or DBS. What happens is you're taking pictures and you turn the camera on away and it'll just stop working. Or you'll try to focus on something and it'll just stop working. And what it looks like is it looks like a dead battery. But even with a full charge, it'll keep happening. So we're going to try a bunch of different solutions. The first one is we're going to try updating our firmware. Sometimes this just straight up works for some reason. And it, the problem's done. Uh, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to clean our terminals for our battery inside of our camera and we're going to clean them on the battery itself. And what we're going to use is this. It's deoxid, and there will be a link down below for picking some of it up. The last thing that we're going to do is we are going to try putting a shiv inside of the battery compartment to hold it up in place against the battery terminals. And be, uh, between all these different solutions it has definitely worked and been fixed. So let's give it a shot. Alright, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to clean these three little terminals down here. You can see them on the right hand side of this picture inside of the battery compartment and they just make the contact with the battery. Is we're going to take some of this deoxid and we're going to put a little bit on a q-tip here. Just enough to get the tip pink and we're just going to essentially cram it down in the battery compartment and clean off those electrical contacts, especially the tips of them. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to clean off these battery terminals and you can see that they got some gunk on top of them. It's just surface oxidation and what this deox is going to do is just take it off really really fast. So you just essentially wipe it on there. And you'll probably see some of it coming off on the clean the q-tip. And if it doesn't seem to get it, you can just like brush it straight on there with the uh, applicator. Between all those things, it's kind of hard to see on this Q-tip, but it actually did remove quite a bit of surface oxidation. It's kind of just brownish gray now. So that's all cleaned up. All right, then the next thing what we're going to do is we are going to fix this battery compartment door. They come off really easy. Just pop it open. It kind of slides up and out, and then you've removed it. We're going to buy a second one, and we're going to remove this little metal shiv right here. Baby screwdrivers, jeweler screwdrivers, watch screwdrivers, anything will fix it. And what we're going to do is we're going to stack two of them on one of these. Alright, so just kind of roll of the dice here. We got two of these guys. As you see the one in front, we have taken the little metal shiv off, and we have put it on the second one. Uh, the screws on the second one were kind of longer, so I went ahead and used them. Both of them would have worked. But essentially what we've done is we've added about an extra millimeter or so. But that's going to press the battery up against the battery terminals. Alright, so I went ahead and I updated my firmware version, the 2.01. Since I did that, I've had zero problems with the battery dying. I tried just updating the firmware without the metal shiv and without the deoxid, and it was still crashing. But between all of the different solutions, it's 100% better. I haven't had any problems with it. This should work on your D200, 300, 80, and 90s. If you're having this dead battery problem, give it a shot. It's better than sending it to Nikon for a couple hundred bucks. All right.